Today I will be winter sowing a few seeds in jugs. Winter sowing is when you plant seeds outdoors to get a head start on the spring growing season. The jugs act as a miniature greenhouse, allowing the seeds to germinate and grow during the winter. The supplies you're going to need are jugs. This can be milk jugs, juice jugs, the soda bottles, even the plastic restaurant containers will work for this method. These clear bottles are actually my favorite to use because you can actually see the growth of the seedlings a little bit better. A box cutter for cutting the jugs. A marker, and you actually want to use a UV resistant marker, not a permanent marker because it'll fade over time. I couldn't find my UV resistant marker, so I'm going to go back over and relabel my jugs once I buy a new one. Seeds and the seeds you're going to use are going to have one of these phrases on the packaging cold hardy, cold stratification, direct sow outside in early spring, direct sow outside in fall, direct sow outside year round, perennial, self sowing. If you would like me to create a video detailing the exact plants that are best for winter sowing, let me know in the comments. You will also need water, your favorite potting mix and duct tape for sealing the jug shut. First, you're gonna take your jug and you're gonna poke holes at the bottom using a box cutter. You can also use a drill to do this. You wanna be sure that you poke enough holes at the bottom so your seeds are not sitting in water. After you've poked the holes at the bottom of the jug, you're gonna take the box cutter and cut all around the jug starting at the handle and taking the cutter and going all the way around and you want to leave like a hinge where the handle is so you're not going to cut under the handle take your potting mix and add it to the jug you want to use about three to four inches of mix so after adding the water add more soil because the soil will settle after you water it Lift your jug to make sure the water is draining out properly. And if you need to, you can always poke more drainage holes at this time. And just wait a few minutes before adding the seeds to give the water time to make its way down. I like to take a pencil and I use it just to make some small holes for the seeds. And I put one hole in for the corners and then one hole in the center. And depending on the size of the seed, you don't even need to make holes. Some seeds are so small that all you need to do is sprinkle them in or rake them in, which I will show you in the next jug that I do. And these hyssop seeds are actually pretty small also, but I wanted to show you how I make the holes in the four corners and in the center. I'm using about two seeds per hole and I'm barely going to cover it back with soil since they are so small. And after I get the seeds in, I'm going to close the jug using the duct tape. You want to make sure that there are no gaps. So shut, kind of pull the jug down as far as you can and then start using the tape and just take the tape all the way around. I think going around with the tape at least two times is okay. I think I ended up doing like three to four times, which I don't recommend because I ended up running out of duct tape and I wasn't able to get all of my jugs done. So two times should be good enough. You just want to be sure that there are no gaps in your jugs and that it's properly sealed because it's going to act as a greenhouse for your seedlings and if there is a hole it will affect the growth of the seeds all right take your uv resistant marker do not use a permanent marker because it will fade like i said earlier but take your marker and write the name of the seed and i also like to write the date because since i ran out of duct tape I am going to end up sowing some more seeds, so I want to make sure that I have everything dated so I know when I started them and when they can go out. All right, that jug is done, and I will show you guys one more. But I like to start my jugs at least 8 to 10 weeks before my average last frost.
take our box cutter and cut holes at the bottom of the jug and then take the box cutter and starting at the handle you're going to want to cut all the way around the jug leaving a hinge where the handle is so make sure just not to cut the entire um, top half of the jug off just leave a hinge next you're gonna take your potting mix and fill your jug up with about three to four inches of soil making sure to water it in and add more soil if you need to and with this seeds they are smaller so I'm just gonna be sprinkling them in and raking them into the jug After I do that, I am going to close the jug back, making sure there are no gaps while I am taping it with the duct tape. And around this one, I still went way too many times and my tape job is a mess. I was struggling with this duct tape for some reason. Maybe it's the, the color, I don't know. Maybe the gray tape works better than the color tape. So, Anyway, I'm going to write on the jug with the name of the plant and the date. And that is all. I feel like you guys are experts at winter sewing. It is super easy and definitely great for beginners. My first year doing it was last year and I just fell in love. And now I'm going to be doing it every single year. It's just so fun and easy and it gives you something to do in the garden in the winter, which is always perfect. I will be putting these jugs on my deck. Just be sure to put them in a spot that they will be protected from winds and animals, but still be able to receive rain or snowfall. If the soil looks like it's drying out, you can use a spray bottle to mist some water inside the top of the jug. But I just let nature do the watering and I check on them about every other day. I'm done with this set of winter sown seeds and the seeds i ended up doing are hyssop catmint nepeta rubecchia cilantro verbena two verbena actually because that's my favorite rosemary parsley basil russian sage chamomile and that back one is lemon balm let me know in the comments if you plan to winter sow this year and if so what plants are you going to do if you are a beginner um start off small you don't have to sew 20 or so jugs just start with four as i think as long as you start that's all that matters just do what you can handle and do what makes you happy as a gardener thank you so much for watching this video i hope you got something out of it and if so please give it a like and please subscribe if you would like to see what else I plan to do in my garden this year. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.